Hey guys, Retro Badger here. Welcome to the next episode of the Star Trek Resurgence playthrough. So last week, Portal 63 warned us that there may possibly be an intruder on board. So it looks like that's what we're going to investigate next. Happily, I'm glad to announce that they've actually added the ability to invert the Y-axis now when you're moving around. That will help a lot as I really struggled with that. So let's start the episode. Engineers would have found this device already if it wasn't well hidden. Better to rely on my tricorder. Oh, cool. So we get to walk around engineering finally. Mm, there's a lot of noise in here. Sweet. I should scan the device putting out the most radiation to filter it out. Imagine a warp core would give out something. <laughs> Quite a bit of radiation. That's better. Most other radiation sources in here are well contained. There's definitely tetrametric radiation nearby. But even with the gain boosted, it's getting drowned out by other sources of radiation in here. Oh, it's so cool being able to see the warp core up close. It certainly looks different to a galaxy class one, doesn't it? Ah, what's this? A little bit of harmless radiation leakage here, but enough to mask the tetrametric pulses. Easy enough to cancel out. There's still something drowning out the tetrametric radiation. I need to find it so I can filter it out as well. Hmm. Harmless radiation leak, eh? Absolutely love tricorders. Can you imagine if you had one in real life? So cool. Just be able to, if you weren't feeling well, if you had a medical tricorder, you could just scan yourself and it'll tell you exactly what's wrong with you. Anything here? Hmm. Oh, what do we have here? Is that Jeffrey's tube? Oh, it is. Jeffrey's tubes thump harmonics from all over the ship. I'll filter that out. There we go. I'm getting a clear tetrametric signal now. Oh. I hope it's not in the warp core. That would make me a little nervous. In fact, can we go down there? No, nope. can we not? No, nope. she's stuck. What are those yellow things? It's like it's trying to give me a hint, isn't it? We've got stuff flying this way. Particles. Ooh, hang on. Oh, what's this? Aha! Hidden behind the console. Found it. Excuse me. Do you belong here? Commander Rydek. I'm sorry. I, I didn't know it was you. Hmm. Good to see you again. Likewise. You've been working hard? Yes, sir. Always room for improvement, just like you said. What uh, are you doing back here? I, I don't mean to pry, but first officers don't usually go digging around engineering compartments. 
I was looking for you. Uh, under the console? Dropped my tricorder. But I do need your help. Have you seen anyone else in here recently that might seem out of the ordinary? Maybe someone who doesn't work in engineering. Not that I can think of, but I can ask around. I'm here almost all the time, but maybe someone else noticed something? That's okay. Don't bother. I'll figure it out. Okay, but I'm happy to help if you need me. Oh, well, I'll leave you alone already. Oh, come to think of it, that Hotari woman was down here earlier with Dr. Duvall finishing the last of the bioscans. Tylus? That would be out of the ordinary, right? Thank you. I wasn't sure if we could trust him or not. Maybe Tylus saw something. Tylus, can I speak to you for a moment? Of course. Is something wrong? There's something happening. I may need your help. This is important. How can I help? When you were in engineering with Dr. Duval, did you notice anything out of the ordinary? Or anyone? Not particularly. Why? I found this, hidden in a compartment down there. That's Taconian technology. Does that mean there's a Scion on board? But Dr. Duval bioscanned everyone. Every deck, every crew member, I've seen the logs. She couldn't have been more thorough. We have to trace every contact, starting with engineering, which is where the device was planted. At least that narrows the list. But we still have to go back quite a while. Whatever it takes. It could be anyone. That includes both of us. You want me to get scanned? Better to know for sure, right? I'll admit, I was around the Scions as much as anybody. I would feel more comfortable if you did. I understand. Clear. Now it's your turn. Sure. That'd be a plot twist. Clear. Don't sound so surprised. You spend plenty of time with the Scions as well. You never know. Let's get to it. The search starts in engineering. Whoever planted the device most likely did it within the last few hours. So I'll start by running a scan, tracking everyone who came through engineering over the last day, in reverse order. This could take forever to sort through the number of people that were in engineering. Hmm. Duplicates? What's duplicate? Hmm. See, if I go for the Hatari, hmm. Oh, tricky. Cross-referencing this list with everyone who's traveled to Hotari. Mm, that helps. I'll filter out the duplicates. Oh. Now this is manageable. Filtering for outliers. People who don't work in engineering. So it didn't matter who I selected. Let's see who's left. Mm. No. This can't be right. What? Of the people that went to Hotari and visited engineering, it could only have been... Captain Solano. According to this, he was here while you went down to Delphi Ardu 4. Which would have been the perfect opportunity. And no one would question him. He's the captain. As much as I hate to admit it, assuming it's true, it does explain why he was so opposed to getting help from Portal. And he made several trips to Otari. So they had plenty of opportunity to target him. 
What happened when Dr. Duval bioscanned Captain Solano? That's just it. She never did. How is that possible? Something more urgent would always come up. There was nothing she could do. Mm. But performing a bioscan is the only way to be absolutely sure. That's not going to be easy. First thing I need to do is get this device to Portal. Be careful. And good luck. I'll need it. I've found the device. Interference is gone. I have located Galvin's ship more precisely. Wow. He's in the Usonia system. So then it worked. This whole region was one of the most sacred for the ancient Takan. What many consider the birthplace of our civilization. See these comets and planetoids in the outer orbits? Based on their current trajectory, that's Galvin's destination. And legend tells us it's the location of what was once our largest arsenal. Not that we needed it in the late stages of the Empire, but it was there as a precaution nonetheless. Can you stop him? Cripple their ship somehow? I'm afraid they are too far away for my powers to reach them. We need to be much closer. And even then, they may have defenses against what I am able to do. If Galvin and the other Scions secure the arsenal, they will become extremely dangerous. My people had such power at the height of the Empire. The Takan were as gods, keeping absolute control over countless worlds. I must speak with them directly. However, the presence of this device is worrying. It's highly likely it was placed here by a Scion hidden among your crew. And it is unlikely this interference device was the Scion Saboteur's only trap. If we reach Galvin and the Saboteur cripples your ship, we will be at their mercy. Even my powers will not be able to protect us. Do you know who it is? They may well do more damage if left alone. Time is not on your side. I'm fairly convinced they bioformed Captain Solano. I knew there was a reason I didn't like him. That explains it. <laughs> Bioforming was so rare at the time of the Empire that I am not able to detect if it has taken place. Proof of your claim is something you will have to produce yourself. Then we have to bioscan him. I'll talk to Dr. Duvall. That's quite the claim. Last time we spoke, you said Solano was perfectly fine. I wouldn't be asking you if there was any other possibility. Would explain why Solano has been too busy for a bioscan lately. As the ship's doctor, you have the authority to declare him unfit to serve. If you're right, this is the worst case scenario. Challenging your own captain is a tall order. Are you sure you're prepared for this? If you fail, that's it. The end of your career. Maybe your life. I don't know if I would be on my own. But with your support, I'm sure we can do it. That smooth talking may come in handy. I'm in. But we can't pull this off with just the two of us. I technically have the authority to make Solano undergo a scan, but in reality, he can and will refuse to do it. We need at least another member of the senior staff to support your claim. Or this could all blow up in our faces. Uh, you better think long and hard about who you can trust. Mmm. Oh man, that's going to be tricky, isn't it? Makes a lot of sense, though. Down to one reactor. Thought we'd be stopped dead. At least stuck at impulse power. The Takan enhancements must be able to brute force limited bursts of warp output. Yeah, but they won't get to wherever they were headed at this rate. They're just limping along now. So where does that put us? Maybe I can answer that.
I'm really enjoying this game. I am. I, we've done, I think this may be episode 8, possibly. And, yeah, I, I'm loving it. Nice surprise, really. We've got, you know, a good Star Trek game. A good modern Star Trek game. Okay. And of course we have that strategy game that's going to be coming out. I got out. the ship's heading. They've changed course. Drastically. Looks like they're headed here. The Usonia system. They might stop there. Can we use the Zeldi's comms to signal your fleet? Our comm systems are locked. Grab hold! Uh, oh yeah, I inverted the Y-axis. <laughs> That was a close one. The inertial dampeners can barely keep up. If they keep forcing this ship to make these short warp jumps, they're going to tear it apart. Zeldi is still made by a Lydian hand, despite all this to calm corruption. We'll hold. We just gotta stay safe until Starfleet can find us. Your people, is there somewhere you go when you die? Life after death, no. On my home world, some people think they can cheat death in a way by joining with the Trill symbiont. But that's not a life to me. Hmm. What about you? Is there another plane of existence for you? With every passing battle. I believe there's an afterlife. You do? Yeah. Then you should understand this. My people have a special journey. When Alidians die, we rejoin our comrades, family, and ancestors. On the parade grounds of Cirella? That is just one part of it, but yes. Death is not the end for us. So, even if some part of Itasca remains, by letting the Takan use her body, at best, we are delaying the inevitable next step for her. At worst, we are leaving her as a prisoner in her own mind. You want to save the transformed. So do I. Now that I've seen it happen, does it make me a hypocrite to say he has a point? What if we can't get them back? We can't leave them like that, right? I think Itasca would want to be released. To think of what she could be going through right now. I know it's awful to think about, but if they're still alive, we can still try to help them. We lose that option once they're dead. I had a sister, a twin. It's very rare among the Trill. You never told me that. She was one of the youngest hosts to ever join with the Symbian. A sentient creature that lives in our body. It's considered a great honor. The symbiont can bring centuries of knowledge and wisdom to the host. But sometimes, the symbiont personality suppresses the host entirely. My sister was the closest person in the world to me. I knew she would be different after joining. But she drew more and more distant. The room we shared growing up was foreign to the both of us. And eventually, she or whoever she'd become, cut me out entirely. So I left for Starfleet and swore I'd never go back. I couldn't stand the thought of seeing her. Someone who looked like my sister. Sounded like her. But wasn't. You should try to see her again. When all this is over. Maybe things have changed for her after you've been away for years. I, I couldn't go back. Not now. You remind me of Itasca. I do. Bonds are not made by what runs through your veins, but the blood you spilled together. Itasca was my family in that way. I want you to know there is nothing I won't sacrifice to win this fight. But if we're lucky enough to survive, I'd be honored if you'd 
count me as one of your tribe. As Itasca was. Even a couple of engineers like us? You are... many things. I don't need to wait that long. We've bled together. No one else will know what we've been through. That makes us a tribe. Right here. I'll take that. Will they not cease this madness? Hmm. What is this place? Is that... the Veskar? Another one of yours? Not anymore. They've corrupted it. Just like the Zeldi. Now there are two ships. Did this just get better... or worse? It certainly doesn't bode well for the crew of the Veskar. It's worse. This is definitely worse. <laughs> Thanks. That really helps. This doesn't look like the Ophelia. What are they doing here? You don't think they're just meeting their buddies? Maybe, but... Then why are their buddies here? Prepare for transfer. The storm! It's back! Ooh. What happened? Hold on. Scanning. Astrometric radiation is dropping. The Zeldi's dropped to minimal power levels. It's running off just the one warp core now. That means... They've sent the Cartabula to that other ship. Hmm? <laughs> Mutiny on the Resolute. Oh dear. How's this one gonna go down? In terms of senior staff, hmm. Something wrong, Captain? No, nothing's wrong. In fact, I was just going to call for you. I'm needed down in engineering. The bridge is yours. Hmm. I think we can trust the security officer. I don't trust science. The Bolian is a logical thinker, but the scientist guy... Yeah. Go for security. Lieutenant Bedrosian. A word, please. Yes, Commander. What can I do for you? Listen, the captain may have been compromised. What? I have every reason to believe he has been bioformed and is now actively working against us. Hold on. This makes no sense. Did Portal do something to you? I'm dead serious. Someone is sabotaging the mission. They planted a Taconian device in engineering. Captain Solano was in engineering while we were on Delphi Ardu 4, and he purposely evaded Dr. Duval's bioscan. He's not Captain Solano anymore. He's a scion. Which would make you captain. So you're saying you're taking command of the ship? Because if you are, that's one hell of a bold move. And you better be absolutely sure you have your facts straight. With your help and your backing, yes, I have to. I'm not signing myself up for mutiny. I have Duval's support. We're going to ask the captain to undergo a bioscan. When he refuses, I need you to back me up. That's surprising. I didn't think she'd take that Back when we response. were on the shuttle, you chose my safety over the lives of a dozen Elidians. I've wondered again and again if I deserved that. If you made the right call. But if it's why I'm here now, able to help you save the Resolute, maybe the whole Federation, then I'm glad you did. So, my answer is yes. I'm with you no matter what. When do we act? Now. Dr. Duvall is already on the bridge. Alright. I'm ready. 
I'm surprised at her initial response, to be honest. I thought she'd be a bit more supportive, but, well. At least we've got the what we wanted, hopefully. Oh, I'm nervous now. Mutiny. Let's hope we're right, actually. <laughs> Can you imagine? It's now or never. Captain Solano. Commander Rydeck, we need to talk about... Doctor? What brings you to the bridge? Just a bit of housekeeping. You owe me a bioscan, Captain. I don't have time for that right now. Oh dear. It will only take a moment. Uh, I can't put this off any longer. You can and you will. No. All you'll find is that I'm quite reasonably under stress given the circumstances and you aren't making it better. I'll find you in sickbay when I'm good and ready. Or, if you're gonna stand in the way of the mission, I can find you in the brig instead. It's merely protocol, Captain. All officers that touch alien soil have to be bioscanned. I know the protocol. It's not more important than chasing down these Taconian marauders. Commander Rydek is right, Captain. We all have to follow the rules. What is this? We need you to comply with the scan, Captain. That's enough. Drop this. All of you. I'm giving you a direct order, Commander Rydek. Stand down and go back to your post. Now. Do not make me tell you again. I've been a starship captain since before you were in the Academy. I won't stand for this. I refuse. So do the others. <laughs> Well then, you've left me no choice. Security to the bridge. Arrest Commander Rydek. Take her to the brig. On what charge? Conspiring with the enemy. What? And mute. No, 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 no. Get back. Give her a chance to speak. Let's hear what she has to say. That's enough, Lieutenant Petrosian. Step aside or you'll join her in the brig. No. This is not Captain Solano. He's been bioformed. He's a scion. You're out of your mind. She can prove it. He sabotaged our efforts to track Galvin with this. He planted it in engineering while we were down on Delphi Ardu 4. Lies! Perpetrated by the only Chakan in our midst, Portal 6-3. He's actively trying to divide us from within. Captain Solano has refused to be bioscanned because he knows it will reveal he's a scion. Uh oh. Take her to the brig or I'll do it myself. Oh. Gosh. Man. Wait! Stand down! That's an order! What is the meaning of this? Everyone hold until we get answers. This cannot happen on the bridge of a Federation starship. He's not Captain Solano any longer. We have a duty and responsibility to relieve him of command. If you're wrong, there's no coming back from this. I'm going to settle this once and for all. Commander Rydick was right. Ugh. Captain Solano has been compromised. My goodness. <laughs> He's been bioformed into a Takan. Man. As the Chief Medical Officer of the USS Resolute, I am relieving Captain Zachary Solano of command. Take him to the brig. 
That was tense. I don't know what I expected, but not this. I can't believe I shot the captain. I... I don't think Starfleet likes it when you do that. <laughs> if it helps, that wasn't really the captain. I mean, intellectually, sure. I understand that. But he looks and sounds exactly like him. I'm not sure I'll ever get that out of my head. <laughs> Those two other ones are angry from the looks of it. Probably because we didn't side with them. We didn't trust them. Is this the walk of shame? She did the right thing though. Set course for the Usonia system. Maximum warp. It's time to face Galvin. Yes, Commander. Sorry. Captain. On your command. Engage. Can you imagine if we'd got that wrong? <laughs> <laughs> that would have been awful. Compromised, they may not do much. Captain, that other Elidian ship is here. The Zeldi? We're outnumbered. Captain, your orders. Evasive maneuvers. Aye, Captain. The Veskar's warp engines are powering up. Oh. Our warp engines are offline. That must have been their goal. They didn't want us to chase the Veskar. According to my readings, they also took the Cartabula with them. They're not breaking off. We have to destroy the Zeldi before it destroys us. With Diaz and Edsalar still over there? They'll need to evacuate. Almost have it. They gotta know we're here. Hurry. You got it? Got it. Diaz to Resolute. We read you, Diaz. This is Ermot. It's good to hear your voice. Is Edsalar. Is she with you? Everyone wants to know. Yeah, we're both here. We're both okay. Very good, Petty Officer. Get us out of here? I can't transport you out while the Zeldi's shields are up. Our phaser fire won't even get through. Is there another way off that ship? We'll find a way. Whatever you do, you'll have to be quick about it. Because we can't give you much more time. We can't evade the Zeldi forever. Understood. Diaz out. We're gonna have to get out of here the old-fashioned way. Lydian ships have no escape pods. We can leave out that cargo bay we transported to before. But then there's the vacuum of space to contend with. <laughs> those freight containers. Maybe we could use those to make an escape pod? Is that even possible? We're gonna make it possible. Unless you have a better idea. Let's go. I've polarized the hull plating. 
That should allow us to take a few more hits. Enemy phaser impact dissipated. Heading, Captain? Gosh. Attack pattern Delta. Target ventral power couplings. Hi, Captain. Zeldi, in range. Fire! Nice. Zeldi shields down to 82%. We're doing damage, but they're hitting us right back. We'll run out of hull before we penetrate their shields. Perhaps I can be of assistance. <laughs> I can modify your impulse engines to amplify their meager output and avoid more of their attacks. But I will need full access to your propulsion system. That goes against dozens of Starfleet regulations. Not a security risk if the alternative is destruction. To me, it's simple. You can take this beat and hope you can weather it. Or will you put your trust in me? I've left everything behind for you. The least you can do is put your faith in me. Commander Ermot, give Bortle access to the propulsion systems. You're going to have the ship in your hands. Don't let me down. This will take a moment. Wow. Interesting. Whoa. So cool. Your ship has let up its fire. That gives us some time. All right. One of these freight containers should do the trick. Be quick. We need one big enough for all of us to fit inside. Something we can make airtight. Damn it. Not this one. Room for the big guy. <laughs> no way this will hold up in a vacuum. Oh, here we go. This will work. That's great, but it's not airtight yet. No problem. We'll just seal it up. I wonder how tall he is stretched. The container is extremely heavy. Even with the containment field open, it won't leave the bay quickly. I'll find something to accelerate our exit. Oh. Glancing blow. Very little damage. I cannot keep this up for long. Their phaser banks are recharging. Now's our window. We have to strike back. I agree. Their next barrage could be our last. Better make this count! Target their weapon systems. Take the teeth out of their bite. That could make them run. Just like the Veskar, we'd lose Diaz and Edzelar again. Hit their engines! We've already lost the Veskar. We need to protect ourselves first. <sighs> I'm gonna target the weapons. Target their weapon systems. Hi, we have to think of the crew on the ship. Firing torpedoes! Needs of the many? Move it now. These will give us the push we need. Those are explosives. We'll ride the blast right out of here. All set. I'll set the containment field to deactivate, and then run back. We can detonate by remote. We'll need to seal the doors from inside the container once we do. Before all the air sucks out of the cargo bay. Oh. 
small moments. Hurry! What are they doing in there? What? say anything oh okay we can't we don't have the time we have to seal ourselves in this ship has no weapons Sidra's going to ram it into your Federation ship please Amenta no oh. it's not her no I know it's not Carter we have to seal the doors don't leave me! Get this lifeboat off the ship before it can crash into the Resolute. I don't think it's her either. That's a larger Resolute. I have the awaiting. Go ahead. We're about to exit. We see the cargo bay containment field is deactivated. Get that tractor beam ready. Zeldy's coming about. They're going to charge the Resolute. Direct collision would be catastrophic. We can't wait any longer. We have to fire. Captain, they're almost out of there. We need to act fast. Hold all fire. Get out of there, Petty Officer. Do it now. You heard her. Done! Ready? Detonate! Oh. Gosh. We're out. I have them on sensors. Tractor beam activating. Locked on and ready to fire. Fire! Oh, wow, look at that. What, eight torpedoes? Got him back. I tracked a transporter signal to the planetoid moments before the Zeldi detonated. Sidron. There's a Takan structure there. It's the reason they were here. It's the reason we are here. Now. I have to see it for myself. We'll go there together. I had assumed as much. <laughs> Is this the Takan arsenal Galvin was after? Legend says this region once held the sacred mysteries of the Takan Empire. Our greatest treasure. Our most fearsome technology. I want a full security detail. Westbrook, Bredrosian, you're with me. Mr. Ermont, you have the con. And we need 200 Makos. Wait. <clears throat> You're not the first officer anymore. The captain is supposed to stay with the ship. 
I'm surprised Lieutenant Bedrosian didn't raise that first. I thought Captain Rydek knew what she was doing. That's the protocol. But it's also a captain's prerogative to break that protocol. I suppose it is. We'll deal with the first officer vacancy when we return. Until then, Mr. Ermont? Yes, Captain. <laughs> well, I think this is a good time to wrap up this episode, but wow, I cannot believe how much stuff has happened in this episode. So, we've had a mutiny, we've now taken command of the ship, and we've rescued the two petty officers. In the next episode, it looks like we're going to be going down to the planet with Portal 63, so I really can't wait for that one. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye for now.